Hey ladies, I'm here with a video on how to achieve this spiral curly twisted look. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. I'm starting on damp hair and I chose to dry my hair by using the plopping method. Plopping is when you use a t-shirt to absorb some of the excess water that's in your hair after washing. So as you can see, I have my hair split into six sections. I like to keep my hair split in sections um, while I'm washing just to make it easier to uh, just to make the detangling process a lot easier. Next I'm going in with this leave-in conditioner and this one is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil by Shea Moisture. It's a lightweight conditioner so it's um it's not too heavy on the hair and you get a really nice result from it. Next I'm using the Argon Oil 100% pure Argon Oil. I got this one from TJ Maxx for about 16 bucks. And I'm just applying those two to my hair and separating my hair into two sections. So I went from three sections to two sections just to make sure that everything stays detangled. As you can see, I'm, I'm doing the same thing on this side too. Just applying my leave-in conditioner, using a little bit of that Moroccan Argan oil to set it, and then going in and doing two strand twists. So now I have four sections in my hair instead of six. Now that I'm done sectioning my hair and moisturizing, I'm going to go in with this Eco Styler Curly Pudding Cocktail. And this is actually going to be my styler. So I like this product because it gives me light hold without flaking. And I'm just applying that to a section of hair and then going in with my dimming brush just to smooth my hair out because I want very smooth results from this set. Just kind of using it to smooth out the hair and going in and flat twisting the front section of my hair. Now I'm flat twisting the front section of my hair because I want the curls to be from root to tip. Now that I'm at the end of the flat twist, I'm going in with a little bit more of that Eco Styler curly pudding and I'm putting that right on the ends of my hair and then using a roller to roll the hair all the way up to pretty much like the base of the twist. Now for the next area, I'm going to split the hair into two sections and this section is actually going to be six twists I do believe I did six twists in this section so I did the same thing that I did to the front of my hair going in with that dimming brush just to smooth everything out twisting the hair this time I didn't do a flat twist I just did a regular two strand twist um, twist it all the way to the bottom and use a little bit of that eco styler curly pudding on the ends of the hair and then add a roller just so that everything has kind of like that nice roller set look when you take the twist out. So then I'm just going to go ahead and complete this all over my head. So then I just kind of section my hair off and do the same thing to the back as well. Now that I have completed my head, I'm going to go ahead and cover my hair using this kind of like hooded do-rag. This is my favorite thing to cover my hair because I can cover my hair and tie it down. So it's not just like those bonnets that come off. Next day, I went ahead and took my do-rag off and began to slowly take out the rollers. So I took out all the rollers first and I did this by unwinding the rollers so instead of just pulling the curl out I actually went in and unwinded the curl that way you get that really springy looking curl and not like a long droopy curl
And it's really important that your hair is completely dry when you're taking out the rollers. If it's not, then you'll get some really limp curls. I'll show you here in just a moment what I'm talking about. But some most for the most part, the curls did dry. Uh, but as you can see, I do have a few of them that were just a little bit damp. And when they're damp, the curl isn't as tight as you can see here. So now to actually take the twist out, I'm going back in with my argon oil and just making sure that my hands are thoroughly coated. And I just go in and unwind the twist. You have to be very careful with the flat twist in the front because if you brush through them, they'll separate a little bit too much and you'll get a whole bunch of frizz. So you don't really want too much frizz. So just take your time and slowly unwind those twists in the front. So now that I have one side done, you can kind of see what the curl pattern is like. Not frizzy at all, especially since I did use a leave-in conditioner, an oil, as well as a styler. So that's always a good way to get the most frizz-free set. So as you can see, all of the twists are out, all of the uh, rollers are out. So now I'm just kind of running through my hair with my fingers and kind of rubbing my scalp to get rid of any of the parts that were left behind. Now that I'm done getting rid of those parts, I'm just gonna go ahead and pineapple my hair right on top of my head. And I like to do this just to stretch everything out to get a little bit more length. As you can see, my hair is relatively long, but um, since it is so curly, you know, you can't see any of the length. So I like to just go ahead and pineapple. Now that I have done my face and I'm pretty much ready for the day, I'm just going to go in and take down my hair and begin to separate the separate pieces, separate the pieces to give it a little bit more volume. I'm just kind of shaking the hair out at first and then going in and just slowly separating each separate piece and just shaking and separating and shaking and separating. Um, I don't really separate my hair too much because I don't particularly care for the frizzy look. I do like a little bit of volume, but I'd like to keep definition as well. Or I find that the more definition that I keep, the longer the hairstyle lasts. There you have it ladies, the perfect curly twist out. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will most definitely see you in the next one. Bye!